Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. You cannot go on TV or the radio without watching or listening to an emotional appeal for stricter gun laws. Whether it's a Hollywood blowhard tweeting something out there, a anti-gun, very uneducated politician throwing stuff out there, or every town for gun safety. And there are fake statistics that they are throwing out there that get shared all over social media. Like the amount of school shootings. They say, it's actually worse than I thought. I can't believe all these school shootings take place. When in fact, it's completely fake. It's been debunked so many times, but nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to talk about the armed citizen who stops crime every day. Instead, they want to say, we need more gun control. And if not now, when? You know how many times I've heard that? It's been going on a long time. For some of you younger guys out there, this is nothing new. This has been happening, and we've continued to stand strong. But little by little, things are happening at the various states, at the federal level. I remember the 4473 was going to be the thing. Hey, as long as we can get this going, we'll be good. You know, and nothing changed. Not, not, I mean, they're, they're still out there crying for stricter gun laws. By their philosophy, you would think that Los Angeles, New York, Chicago would be the safest communities in the country. Heavy gun laws there. In fact, they're very dangerous, including some other areas as well. So we know that gun laws don't reduce crime, even though they say we need to do this to keep people safe. No talk about the armed citizen who prevents crimes every day. No talk about increasing school security, but they're, they're talking about taking away your guns. The dementia-ridden Biden administration leaves $85 billion worth of weaponry in the hands of terrorists in Afghanistan. Terrorists. We're sending billions and billions of dollars to Ukraine for weaponry. You guys need to protect yourselves. But here on our own soil, they say, you don't need that. Why do you need that? Well, I don't think half these Hollywood blowhards need $20 million salaries to make a movie. But you don't hear me complain about it. I don't care. It doesn't affect me. But what you're trying to do now does affect me. All right, you push too hard, we push back. You see Matthew McConaughey, he shows up at the White House, gives his most emotional appeal, uses all of his acting skills possible to go on to say we need to change. Something needs to change. What needs to change, Matthew? Perhaps we should take a look at some of the armed citizens who prevent crime. But no, that's not what he's saying. Now, he did say something that I agreed with. He said, legal gun owners are sick of this, and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being blamed every time somebody misuses a firearm. I'm sick of being blamed as part of the problem. I'm sick of being blamed as if I did something really evil because I own a modern sporting rifle. It's really where we're at right now. And you look at that slob, Michael Moore. You know, that, that, now this guy lives in 11,000 square foot mansion, two-thirds of its pantry, by the way, on a beautiful lake in northern Michigan. He's not in the element of where crime could be. I realize crime could happen anywhere, but he's not in the element. I know that area. He doesn't go grocery shopping. He doesn't go to the gas station. Somebody does that for him. And you know what he says? It's time to repeal the Second Amendment. You know, when, you know, the old saying, it says, I'm here for the government and I'm here to help. Yeah, that's a big lie. I'm, I'm from the government and you don't need a gun. That's exactly when you need a gun. Every time they say stuff like this, gun sales skyrocket. The opposite effect happens. Michael Moore says, if you're scared, to get the idea that we're a bunch of paranoid psychopaths. If you're scared, get a dog. Oh, that's real wise. Oh, so that means I don't need a gun. I could just get a dog. Somebody kicks in my door at 4 a.m. They shoot the dog. Now they get whatever they want, including my wife, my kids, me, everything that I've ever worked for. They could just take it because they shot my dog. According to Michael Moore, that's what you should do. Every town for gun safety sends out all these statistics that are completely false. And it gives the impression that things are way worse than we thought they were. If you take out gang crime and you take out suicide, none of which we have any control over, then we, we would realize we don't have a gun violence problem in this country. All things considered, gun violence happens very seldom. 
Oh yeah, it happens. That's why we stay armed to protect ourselves, but not as much as they make it seem. Not even close. So we've got these lawmakers, these anti-gun politicians, some turncoat Republicans talking about how they're going to make us safer. They don't use evidence to support their argument. They use emotion. And so do these Hollywood blowhards out there. They use emotion. And then they know how to drive emotion. This is what they do for a living, by the way. They, they, they get everybody to, to kind of feel the pain. They're not feeling any pain. These guys live plush lives. And, and I'll tell you who feels the pain. The one who lives in a crime-ridden area and is restricted from purchasing a firearm because their local politicians say that they don't need it. And that is the exact sign that tells you, you need it. Law enforcement says, somebody kicks in your door at 4 a.m., we won't be there. I don't care how fast you call 911. We can't get there. Get yourself armed. In so many cases, they say that. And yet, we don't hear anything about that. All of a sudden, that doesn't matter. Michael Moore says we need to repeal the Second Amendment. You know, and so here, here we are. This is nothing new. So you say, well, okay, you tell us all this stuff. What should we do? We need to continue to support our gun organizations who are on the front line taking care of business. Gun Owners of America sends out these emails. Just go to their site. You hit, you hit a, uh, a button. It takes you to your local senators. You hit another button. It sends off an email. Couldn't be easier. Support your local gun organizations. And, you know, speak up on social media and other places when these, these false articles and statistics are being shared all over the place. And this is not true. You know, do some actual research. You would think if you are a politician and you're about ready to vote on something, that you'd actually do a little research and know a little bit more about the subject before you cast your vote. You would think that would be what the voters in that district expect from them. But they don't. They go right along party lines. And we got these liberal Republicans who are joining them. Why? Because they're getting involved in the emotional appeal. Because they don't like it when kids get shot. I don't like it when kids get shot. You and me would have gone in that building, unlike the local police department who stayed outside. Same thing in Broward County, okay, where we heard the same, same type of rhetoric about we need stricter gun laws to keep you safe. Why? So we could end up like Mexico or only the cartels have the guns, or uh, Cuba disarm the people so that only the criminals have them, as if we're going to create these gun laws and the criminals are going to say, oh, I didn't know this was passed, here you go. Yeah, you're empowering the criminal, and you want us to just say, yeah, this is what we needed to do, and then they go out there and say, most gun owners agree with this? These people are lying to you. They are lying. It is so false. Every day in America, the armed citizen prevents crimes and the people involved say it would have been so much worse without that person there. If they weren't armed, more people would have died and nobody wants to report it. But some Hollywood blowhard makes a comment that gets shared all over the place. Oh, can you believe this person said that? As if they know. They don't know. They do not know. They don't live in the element. They're not out there doing normal things. And these politicians who are surrounded by armed guards don't want you to be armed? Can you see the hypocrisy here? They give firearms to terrorists, millions and millions of dollars worth of firearms to terrorists, and then Ukraine and say, look at us, we're helping. You shouldn't be armed as an American citizen, yet we're the ones with the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment protects us from our neighbor, but more importantly, it protects us from the government. So if the government says, you don't need a gun, I'll tell you something right now, you need a gun. And it's never been more important than right now. And every time they pass another gun law, watch gun sales skyrocket. Might be a good time to invest in gun companies. You know, stock market's not doing very well. I see one sector that may skyrocket, as they say, to the moon. Because people are going to be all of a sudden buying and buying big time. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.